Hey guys, so I'm going to do a third tutorial tonight while I have some time on my hands. Um, this is going to be a tutorial on how to do two-toned or like three-dimensional looking lips, if that makes sense. Um, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to use for my liner, I've already had um, chapstick on for like 40 minutes now, so it has been sinking in and it's you can't even really feel it on. Um, and that's when whenever you put like some sort of lipstick on, you want to have um, you know a moisturizer or primer on underneath uh, to like even out your um, your lips and just make them a little bit more moisturized and you know easy to work with. So um, and I have tried both ways of not using a chapstick and then using a chapstick and to see the difference because you know everyone always says like you have to put chapstick on underneath your stuff and blah 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 so I was like you know I'm just gonna test that theory um, because I never really noticed it before and trust me it is a huge difference and um, you know, if you're one of those skeptics, skeptics too, um, with like little tricks like that, you would, you really want to see how good it actually does work, or what the, what the, you know, amount of difference there is. Um, I would say give it a, sh give it a try. It actually did make a world of difference for me. Um, it might not for you. It might be one of those things where it's different from person to person. But seriously, give it a try, and um, you know, see what you think for it. Anyways, so for my um, lip liner, I'm going to use Max Cream Stick Liner in Burr. So it looks like that. So I'm just going to line my lips like I normally would. I think it's easier, like, instead of having your lips, like, dead and, you know, just kind of sitting there like they normally are, just, like, kind of smile a little bit. Like, I know... This looks stupid, but if this this position works for me the best. You just want to have like a tight area to work with instead of like, because when I don't do that, I have drag marks and it's gross. So you just want to line your lips. If you make mistakes, not a huge deal. You can always do the concealer trick, which I suck at doing, so I'm not going to show you. If for lining your top lips, I think I did a tutorial on how to do like, you know, lips or something. I don't remember what it was, but I think I did. Um, I'll just mention it again. When you do the top lip, I always find it's easier to do the Cupid's bow or whatever it's called first because um, it kind of gives you a jumping off point to, you know, what you're doing. I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyways. Okay, so now you're just going to follow your lips down. You could overdraw your lips, whatever, under you draw your lips, totally up to you. I'm just going to draw my lips the way they are. Okay, you really want to take your time with lining your lips, especially if, you know, you're not in a rush or whatever, or if you're, you really need to look presentable. Um, I typically don't care if I look presentable or not. Um, but just a word to the wise, lining your lips is a tricky process um, in general. So, you know, taking your time with it really pays off in the end. Okay, so my lips are lined. Now to get the sort of 3D look that you want, um, or what I'm actually doing for this tutorial, there's hundreds of ways you could, you know, make your lips look different. But what I'm going to do is just darken out the outer corners of my mouth with the same lip liner. Okay. Hey, how's it going? I know this looks silly. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, and one last corner. All right, so you have this done. Um, you can take a lip brush now, or whatever brush you use for your lips, because I actually use a concealer brush. Not a huge deal. Um, I know this is kind of like a dramatic look right now. Whatever. I use a concealer brush. It's like this. And you can actually kind of feather out the lip liner a little bit. Okay, so I didn't actually pick which lipstick I was going to use to go over top of this, but I think just so, I think I'm going to use, hmm, I think I'm going to throw some lipstick on the floor first and then figure it out. I think we're going to use Lady Gaga, just because Lady Gaga and Burr actually go really well together, so um, let me just put this. Whatever's, whatever's on the brush, I'm putting in the middle of my lips. Okay. Alright, so now since this is my personal um, tube of Lady Gaga, I'm just going to apply it straight from the tube. Looks like this. It's my, one of my favorite lipsticks ever. Okay. So to get this to look the way you want, you're going to need your lip brush um, because the whole darker lip liner and you know, nothing or a lighter lipstick thing is totally over. So we're just going to blend out the edges now. Usually I do this with my hand just because it's a larger area to deal with. So you just want to go over this and blend it out. Okay, so I don't know if my light's going to pick it up, but it does look a little bit more 3D, darker in the outer corners. don't know if it's going to show up on my camera. Um, but the general idea is to have a lip liner darker than the lipstick that you're using and just going, you know, in the outer corners with it. So. So just like that, you can like I just did. You can go back over with the eyeliner, eyeliner, lip liner you used, just to give it a little more def definition. Okay, so that is the you know two toned lip tutorial for you. Um, I think I'll do another one later with um, like reds because that usually turns out like gorgeous. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. If there was anything to learn. Um, and I guess stay tuned for my next tutorial. Bye.